I wanted to start a vlog like last week and I tried to do one of them sit down videos where it's like hi my name is Rachel but I couldn't because that's just not who I am so I decided I'm just gonna start vlogging and y'all just gonna have to get to know me <laughs> as it goes because honey you know okay so today I want to start my vlog because um I don't know where to look okay right here right right here so I um I started my vlog today because me, my man Josh, and um, our friend Jojo, we're recording a song today. So Josh is going to play the piano, and Jojo and I are going to sing, and it's going to be beautiful. And um, it may or may not be on my EP. We haven't decided yet um, whether we just want to release it on my EP or if we want to do something else with it. But, so, but either way, y'all will be hearing it sooner rather than later. So, yeah, I want to start my vlog today because it's going to be an exciting day. I'll see you in the next clip. So, y'all, I want to share something with y'all. And it might be really random to some people, but here it is. So, I was watching this girl on YouTube, and she is like a huge August, August Alcina fan. And I really have never been a fan of him, even when I listen to, like, more secular music. But, so, she was talking about the day that she met him. Like, she had, like, a meet and greet um, ticket. She was talking about how beautiful of a person he was and just how she just weeped because not only did she love him as a fan, but she was like, he's a great man. And, like, his spirit just really filled the room or whatever. And so, I was like, let me look him up. And I kind of knew he was going through some medical things, but I didn't know to what extent. And the Lord had really been pressing on me ever since I saw her video. Like, you need to pray for that man. Pray for him. Um, and I also was listening, watching some of his videos. And most of the videos he posts now, um, though they're old and he doesn't really post that often, he's always singing gospel music. And, like, his, when he sings that gospel music, my God, like, you feel it. And he feels it from the bottom of his heart. And I really believe that God is bringing him, he's bringing him back um, to health um, and also to life spiritually. Um, so I'm definitely keeping him lifted up. Um, it's never too late. It's never too late for God to heal us. It's never too late for us to change our lives or to change the direction of our life to be the direction that God always called it to be. So, um... If you feel led to pray with me with about him, definitely do. Um, I think this man needs the world rallying around him. I think he's he gets forgotten often because he's not making new music all the time, um, or this, this, and that. Um, he doesn't. He's not even very active on social media. But especially in this time with this coronavirus, this man needs to be surrounded. Um, this, this thing he has going on is the autoimmune disorder. So I imagine that if he were to contract the coronavirus, it could be detrimental to him. Um, but like we know, God is a healer. Um, and the Holy Spirit is our advocate. And I believe that the Holy Spirit will be speaking to him and is speaking to him at all times, whether he realizes it or not. So that's just a side note, but be praying for that. As cool as I want it to be. completely forgot I was vlogging today. Let me turn this off. I'm about to. Oh, okay. I completely forgot I was vlogging today because I'm not used to this. But um, I done sweated my edges off. Yes. Um, it's humid as heck out here. Ew. But anyway, so we were at the studio for about three hours. Um, it was a, it was a struggle at first to get, to really get our footing and to know what we wanted to tell our um producer like like it's kind of hard to verbalize what you want as a worshiper sometimes because you lots of times we go by feel like okay this is how I want it to make me feel but especially if that person specializes in secular music 
okay, they're probably going to give you an R&B or a trap, but it's like, that's not what I'm going for. So there was a little bit of like, you know, all right, let's not do that. Okay, let's move that. Okay, let's scrap that completely. So I think that's the only reason why we were in there that long, but it was a beautiful experience. Um, it was JoJo's first experience in the studio. So I was, um, if nothing else, glad that he was able to experience that. So it was really cool. Um, overall, we're not doing the same flow of the song as we intended, but I think God is going to really use what you know the direction we're going in now to bless so that's what matters to me um but yeah so now i'm waiting on my mexican food to be done i'm getting it from la casa lopez um i know the rona out but rachel still needs her mexican food period hopefully they put a little extra queso on there because i know they had no business all day so they might as well spare your girl some extra queso but <laughs> that's all for right now so 12 seconds later. You know what? I am not ashamed to say that I love Frozen. And I'm not ashamed to say that I just watched it for the first time yesterday, honey. But it's in my spirit. Into the unknown. Yes, it's in my spirit. Glory to God. Shut it down, baby. Yes. Absolutely. I will follow you into the unknown. Into the unknown, into the unknown. Ooh. I would like to go for me, not what this world has chosen me. They praying on my downfall, I'm praying on what's best for you. I'm not the one I used to be. I'm crystal clean, that drip on me. I'm found to see my daddy knows what's best for me. You hold me down. 